Hello friends, in this video we make cyclohexanone oxime. So what is an oxime? Oximes are chemical compounds that belong to the class of imines. Their general formula being R1 R2 C double bond NOH where R1 is the organic side chain whereas R2 can be a hydrogen which forms an aldoxime or another hydrocarbon and it forms a ketoxime. Cyclohexanone oxime is a ketoxime and its importance comes in the industrial application where it is used in the production of an organic compound called caprolactam which is a precursor for the polymer nylon 6. Preparation reaction involves a simple condensation reaction between cyclohexanone and hydroxylamine. The materials required for this preparation includes 5 ml cyclohexanone, 7.5 grams of sodium acetate, 5 grams of hydroxylamine hydrochloride and 25 ml of ethanol. Here we have already pre-measured the compounds. This is the sodium acetate and this is the hydroxylamine hydrochloride 5 grams and here we have the 5 ml cyclohexanone and then we have 40 ml of distilled water and 25 ml of ethyl alcohol. Start by taking a 250 ml conical flask and then we transfer both the sodium acetate and hydroxylamine hydrochloride into the flask. Now we add 40 ml of distilled water to the mixture. Since hydroxylamine is not readily available as it is a very strong base sensitive to oxidation by air, its salt form hydroxylamine hydrochloride is used. On mixing with sodium acetate, hydroxylamine is generated in situ. Now we take the cyclohexanone and add 25 ml of ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol solubilizes the cyclohexanone and thereby makes the reaction in aqueous medium feasible. Now we transfer the cyclohexanone alcohol mix to the sodium acetate and hydroxylamine hydrochloride mixture. Then we mix these compounds well. After that, we keep the flask undisturbed. After that, I kept the container undisturbed. Theoretically, I should have obtained the crystals, but in my case, I didn't. So I had to boil down some amount of water and then on cooling I obtained these needle shaped crystals of cyclohexanone oxime. Now I go on with filtration. I used a simple gravity filtration and it is enough as the crystals formed are of larger size and water can be easily filtered. If you have, you can use a vacuum filtration instead. After filtration, we have this crude product that is the cyclohexanone oxime. I decided to recrystallize the compound for a much purer product. For that, I transferred this crude cyclohexanone oxime into a 100 ml round bottom flask. Then I added about 25 ml of ethyl alcohol to the compound. Cyclohexanone oxime is very well soluble in alcohol. The clear solution obtained after warming the alcohol mixture was then set aside for cooling and on cooling you can see the needle shaped crystals of much purer form of the cyclohexanone oxime was obtained. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button. And if you want to join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description. Thank you.